So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Planets Through Ascendant series. And today we are going to cover Moon in the fourth house for Leo Ascendant people. And what happens when Moon is in the fourth house in Scorpio for Leo Lagna. Okay, and as always, if you do not know if you have this particular placement, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, all the other astrological details. Check out the links here, check out my full astrological report, including my books, consultations, and link to my academy, Maga Vedic Astrology Academy, where I'm going to be teaching the greatest Prashna technique ever. So anyway, when Moon is in the fourth house in Scorpio, one of the things that you will notice is that especially if there's even one malefic impact on this Moon, it can give psychological issues to a person. The other thing we also see, this person is a natural psychic and a counselor. They are the type of people who like to work in private, who like to work away from the social norms of society, which is going into an office, going into, you know, some store and working. They're not one of these people. This is the type of person who will do great as a psychologist, psychiatrist, psychic, astrologer, undertaker, somebody who does, let's say, some investigation or spying with the FBI or whatever Indian Bureau, whatever that is. This is a type of person who really finds mental peace when they're in isolation and finds mental peace when they are dealing with secrets. That's where this moon really does well when it deals with secrets. Now, here's the thing. This doesn't mean that just because moon is in the fourth house, you are going to be in these professions. No, they will love being in these professions. But what is the most important thing when it comes to career? What profession a person will do? You've got to look at their Dharma and Artha. This is why many people are unhappy because they want to do something else. Perhaps they want to do astrology, but they are stuck in such a place in their life where they just have to do IT jobs. They have to do management HR work. And I actually get these two a lot. Uh, even in my career consultation that I want to do astrology. But the problem is they're like 46, 47. They've got teenager children almost. And they've got to work. The wife, spouse is working. They're working. They got to work to provide for this, you know, the family that they have created. Because um, if one just goes into astrology like that, I mean, you know, it just doesn't happen the next day. It takes a long, long time. So this is why you got you once you start understanding the dynamic of Dharma and Artha, you will see that, oh, this is why most people are unhappy at their jobs and work. And once they are aligned, then things happen. Also, with this particular moon, we see there could be obsession. Obsession towards worrying about mother. See, you, may, you might have thought that, oh, I might say, oh, this person will have a bad relationship with the mother. You know how many times, uh, how, for how many hours, like what, 24 hours, moon is in the sign of Scorpio? Imagine how many babies are born in 24 hours. Are they all going to have the same karma? No. Why? Because look, moon has a full digbala in the fourth house. And this is why I also say, when debilitated planets don't give bad results or exalted planets don't give awesome results is not because of the fact they're uh, wrong being debilitated or exalted. It's just that the degree that they're in of that particular sign will determine is this planet in cancer going to behave like what the classical say or is it going to behave great? You see, so this is one of the most important things. Um, usually women with this particular moon could have the tendency of um, seducing a third party spouse or having some kind of an affair uh, with this particular moon, especially if it's a malefic of impact on there. But one thing I've also seen with this particular moon, a person usually loses their Krishna or Radha, meaning you get that perfect, perfect person in your life to fulfill your mind, but they're only there for a short duration. Because your legal karma is not with them. Just that one moment, that one romance that you were supposed to complete, that's it. So a woman will not be able to find their Krishna and a man will not be able to get their Radha. Maybe they have already fulfilled all the obligation in past life and they're just like passing by and just 
having a small romance again okay so anyway guys this was my uh, analysis of sun moon in the fourth house of scorpio because and also one thing you have to understand is that moon rules the 12th house of foreign places foreign land sitting in the fourth house and this is why we also see that usually if, if uh, whenever 12th floor is in the fourth house a person goes to foreign lands finds much more happiness in foreign lands or far away from their birth city and usually one also mentally becomes uh, a victim of overspending they feel like if they overspend they will feel good about themselves and they don't so obviously they need to kind of like watch out for this uh, mental stimulation of spending money to find joy in, within themselves okay so anyway guys if you're new to my channel subscribe below and if you want to know where your moon is placed all the other logical details check out the links here otherwise we'll see you later bye bye